So a completely new cooling system was developed for the FastTech. There are large holes on each side of its cars. When the covers are removed, we can see that these holes open into a duct connecting to the inside of the car. As the train moves, cool air rushes in through these holes and uses this device to carry the heat away from the transformers. These pumps are also used to make the cooling process more efficient. The heat is tremendous, so water is used for cooling as well as air. In the FastTech, the heat from the transformers is first carried away by water. The water is circulated by pumps so that it can be cooled by air forced in through the holes. This combined air and water cooling system has never been used before on a high-speed train. Because of the high voltages, one problem with using water to cool the transformers is the risk of leakage. And that's why water cooling has always been taboo. But for the sake of weight reduction, we looked at it again. Other components were also redesigned until the overall weight was 5% lower than for existing Shinkansen cars. Challenging one of their own taboos shows just how difficult the development process was. To achieve higher speed, you obviously need more than just more powerful motors. Oh, that's quite right. Higher performance motors are needed, but they're not that difficult to make. Well, I don't mean that they're easy to make either, but that isn't the hardest part. You see, the faster a train goes, the more wear and damage it does to the tracks. You have to counterbalance that. So the faster a train is, the more its weight needs to be slimmed down. I see, so reducing the weight was absolutely crucial to building the fast tech. And in the end, it came out that each car weighed just 46 tons. The body shell was made thinner, and different materials were used for the windows and bathroom fittings. Talk about detail. Yes, to reach that weight target, they looked at changing even the smallest things. Losing weight really is tough, isn't it, Dr. Nagase? It is. But uh, in fact, we have come a long way already. Compared to the first generation of Shinkansen trains, the most recent models weigh only about 70% as much. So about 30% has been shared. That's right. And bear in mind that even cutting a little weight, no matter how small, involves a lot of planning and testing. It's never easy. Dr. Suzuki, is it the same with aircraft? Well, to some extent, yes. If a plane is too heavy, it won't be able to fly or take off. But making a plane lighter also has important safety implications. So it must be done very carefully. And reducing the fast tech's weight wasn't the only kind of change the engineers were aiming for. Right. They also had to think about us, the passengers. I checked on that part too. This is not the usual way on Science Zero, but anyway, join me for step two. A new approach was taken to the car interiors in the quest for passenger comfort. What's this? Oh, it's a mock-up of a coach-class train interior. Wow. The outfitting and design of the interiors is being studied using actual fast tech coaches. Each coach has a specific theme. Some of the ideas came out of a survey carried out on members of the public. The concept for this coach is the near future. It features an extremely vivid neon green. The large headrests are designed to offer more privacy from people in neighboring seats. This coach has a more laid-back atmosphere. The theme draws on nature, all the greenery along the Shinkansen route. 
Many other experiments with interior design are underway. Any other new ideas? Well, yes. Have you noticed that the colors of the interior lighting change as you go down the car? So they do, yes. Well, we can change how the interior looks and feels by combining the pastel colored lighting with ordinary white lights. We're working on it. It's a work in progress. Yeah, yes, yes, it is. Out in the deck area between cars, the corridor has a noticeable curve. This layout prevents the entrances to the lavatories from being visible from the seats. Women prefer it. It's more discreet. The experiments being conducted on the fast tech train are not just about technology, but also about comfort. I was amazed by all the details of fitting out.